Tonight is also the last city council meeting for the current Denver City Council. The new council takes office next Monday with the new mayor, Mike Johnston. But first, Johnston wants to hear from residents about the things that impact them most. Denver 7's Micah Smith reports on the public forums taking place every night, aiming to lower the barriers between the mayor's office and the people who live in Denver. Four Denver community forums in four places in one night. One week before Mayor-elect Mike Johnston's inauguration, he's seeking community feedback on safety, housing, and other major concerns. I'd like to see uh, well-improved uh, infrastructure, transportation, the sidewalks. We would like to see this city under the Johnston administration actually say, no, we're going to put the step forward to create the housing. Before the forums kicked off, we asked these residents what they want the Johnson administration to include in their plans. What I would like to see would be more community um, activities that um, are free to the community and um, that are educational and um, fun. Others, like Therese Howards. Do you plan on attending any of these forums? Yes. A spokesperson for House Keys Action Network Denver had a more detailed response. We will be at the Mutual Aid Monday um, Forum around uh, the uh, Neighborhood Safety uh, Committee. The conversation has to be both about what the mayor's administration is going to do to actually create the housing that we need and what the mayor's administration is going to do to stop criminalizing people for just surviving on the streets right now. We did reach out to the mayor's office and we did have a meeting with him. Um, uh, uh, regarding the shelter closures, the hotel closures. Angela Brown currently lives at Roadway Inn, a shelter slated to close in just a few weeks. So we're asking the mayor to take a look at these agencies that have been providing care, like TSA, that's Salvation Army, um, and various other agencies, to, to audit them and make them be accountable where these funds are going. These residents say the incoming mayor has quite the to-do list. And we're looking forward to what he has coming in the future. And time will tell exactly how much he'll get done. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.